guys, so this is our first video ever. M what's this called again? Mukbang? Yeah. Mukbang. Say hi guys. Hey guys. We're getting it, hey we're getting it ready. We're getting it ready. Look at all these goodies. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait. Got the biscuits, the sausages, the shrimps, the crab. Oh, let me order popping. <laughs> <laughs> we about to be lit in a second. All right, catch y'all in a little bit. Make sure she collect all she sees in. Let's go have a little Chef Lee's Catering. And I am Eugenie, aka Miss Sushi. Pretty Sushi Pan Instagram, you know what I got already. Go ahead, ah. <laughs> go ahead, plop, plop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm the one who laughs all the time. My name is Chloe of Chloe's Cupcake Corner. Hi. Hey, hi. <laughs> all right, so we're going to do a mukbang. We're going to be eating, eating, eating. Of course, you know, we got some shrimps, we got some crab legs. <laughs> We got some potatoes, we got some uh, what, uh, eggs, we got some corn, we got some, what else we got guys? Sausages, biscuits, But well, this cucumbers. is regular and doobie sausage. Mm -hmm. And this is a vegan Italian, hot Italian sausage, and this is a um, seafood sausage. Cause she's spicy she doesn't eat meat. Sausage. I don't eat meat, so I substitute it, but it's still gonna be just as good. <laughs> <laughs> we All have right. cucumbers and lemon wedges. Mm-hmm, we ready. Mm -hmm. We waiting for this mobile. What's that over and there? And these are cheddar biscuits. Like some yes, honey. Tea. so you guys can see. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you better keep that in there. It's okay, it. that's our people. <laughs> <laughs> and because we're West Sydney, we have Five hot, hot, hot pepper sauce. Yes, we got the grease. You know, I can bust up with the grease hot pepper sauce. And pepper we are sauce. drinking today uh, pomegranate <laughs> lemonade mm -hmm. by Turkey Hill. Yes. And we're saucing it up with some Sutter Home Moscato. You know, uh -huh. us girls gotta have a fancy little drink. Yes, honey. So thirsty, especially the thirsty one. Yes, I'm thirsty, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be eating and discussing individual topics, probably one one or two topics. We'll see how much time we have. So stay tuned for this mukbang. Ow. All right, so we ready to start. What's your topic then? So let me know if you come up with a topic, topic already. What's I your topic? did. Today, I wanna talk about the um, outside misconceptions of being an airline employee. Fuck you too. Fuck you very much. Don't fly with us again. Your baby is an asshole. I spat in your coffee. Because there are a lot of those. Well, what kind of misconception? <laughs> I can't pronounce my words. What kind of misconceptions are you talking about, girl? Well, for starters, people automatically think when you say you're an airline employee, that you're a flight attendant. There's a lot of shit, y'all. The They're like, oh, so where you be going? Where you be flying? Nowhere. 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 No, 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 right the the biggest misconception, they think you get free flights. Mm -hmm. We do not. We do not. They're very discounted, but we definitely pay for them. This is so good. This is so good. Also, Another misconception is people think when you work for an airline, you travel all the time. You don't have that kind of time. Oh. <laughs> I traveled more when I wasn't working for the airline. Hello. You don't have that Seriously, kind of time. Kind of and not even just that, traveling is expensive. Exactly. You need to have money. is expensive. Yes. Unless you're doing a day trip. <laughs> I forgot about talking. <laughs> I did it. Oh, it's a peak. My bad. My bad. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. so good. In case you guys don't know, we are customer service agents for our airline. We're not flight attendants, we're customer service agents. We won't mention the airline mm -hmm. thing either. Mm -hmm. It's not me. We're not be telling you guys where we work. 
and do not and do not comment say. under here if we have buddy passes now. Sausage. The answer is no. Mm. Tastes good, don't it? Let me tell you something. This andouille sausage, <laughs> I talk something right now. Mm. Mm -hmm. I say my appetite goes for this. <laughs> and she didn't say her appetite often. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't. We're all originally from Brooklyn, New York. So we currently reside in New Jersey. So we have a Jamaican and two Ghanaians. It's not even, but it's all right. It's gonna be even next time. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so I want to discuss some things for you passengers when you're traveling the airline. Okay, it is not my responsibility to tell you to come to the airport on time. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right here. Absolutely not. Not my responsibility. Okay. Also, when flights are canceled because of weather. <laughs> it's not our fault. It is not our fault, okay? Do not curse us out. I do not have to give you a hotel. <laughs> Throw things at us. <laughs> do not do all these things you guys do. Threaten us. Threaten us. Threaten to wet me with water. <laughs> so I had a passenger who told me that once opened the bottle of water and was like, oh, you better get me on a flight. I wish I'm like, dude, there's, there's no more flights going out. You feel so nice. I'm not feeling like seafood sausage. I'm gonna try the other one. Oh, I'm definitely not trying that. <laughs> so this seafood sausage has like crab and shrimp and lobster meat inside in the casing. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite, at least not for this setting. I think maybe in like pasta. A pasta, it'd be great. Mm -hmm. mm. So I'm wow. gonna go in and try the- What's that again? Vegan Beyond Meat Sausage. Oh, so that's not meat at all. It's not meat, it's plant-based. Oh what I Tell me what I Found it in the um the glue the gluten free section at ShopRite. I don't have to deal with this. Yo, this is real life right here, guys. I don't have to real deal with life. This. I don't have to deal with the seafood, but this I can definitely go with. It's a little slippery. <laughs> I'm not a big um seafood fan, but um I'm here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's, she's a trooper. Something else. <laughs> she's a trooper girl. Mm -hmm. Is there any more topics that you want to talk about? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my topic is about these gallus man. And in case you don't know what that means, gallus is a player. It's a, it's a Caribbean terminology for player. Player, player, player. Okay, from the Jamaican Himalaya. terminology. Men who act like say them there with you and only you, but them have about five other girlfriends. <laughs> this one's not personal, girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a general topic. <laughs> you Sounds know, like I'm, I'm pretty sure bit. everyone has gone through this in their life oh, at some girl. point. Yeah. So, my question is now you meet a man, right? <laughs> And him introduce himself to you. Oh, him all nice and everything. He's like, hey, you know, I want to get to know you. And mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. That? Oh shit! Hold on a second. <laughs> Let me get my bag right. <laughs> <laughs> he want to get to know you and everything, right? <laughs> so you don't ask him if he's available, cause you just assume. Do you assume he's available? First of all, let me ask that question. Do you assume he's he's single if he's approaching you like that? Naturally. Um, I don't think that something of him being yeah. single would be wrong. Let's <laughs> <laughs> work on her on camera manner. Listen, me, me slurping it. We ain't doing all of that, so. Let's see so here. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's wrong to assume he's single because I feel like, for the record, guys shouldn't pursue a woman unless you're single. Exactly. That's that's how we women think, right? Mm -hmm. But these these guys, these men, these ninjas do not think that way. Them feel like they, if you don't ask them, some of them, I'm not gonna say all, some of them. Most of them. Especially Most of them. So 99.9% of them, Jamaican from the Caribbean, mm -hmm. <laughs> feel like nah. if you do not ask them, are they available, they don't have to tell you that. Wait, and I've been told by this turn. by a man mm -hmm. that, oh, you didn't yeah, ask. You didn't ask if I was married. So. <laughs> Tell you 
Because maybe I thought we were gonna be trying to like pursue something here, so why the hell would you be in? You gotta let me know. You gotta give me that decision, that choice. That choice. Uh -huh. that's, that's, what, that's the issue I have. That choice. And you know what, too? Why is it that a lot of married men feel like it's okay to pursue single women? Right. What's You're wrong like all with the being way married, with, though? Right. Stay with your woman. You're married. That you took a vow. Like. Marriage is like almost a semi-joke these days. I don't want to say it's a joke. I know there's some real people that's really in love that and da 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 da. I know not it's very right. few, but still, like, come on, y'all, y'all making it bad. That's why some of these people talk about I ain't getting married. What's, what's the point? Well, listen, things happen. Nonetheless, not saying that we're home records. Not right. saying that we're home records, but and give, me, just, give me the give me the choice to say I want to deal with that or not. Exactly. Maybe I could be a good side chick. Maybe I could be a good side chick. I am the one, the way your son don't need the gun to get rid. The point is, honesty is the is the key. Mm -hmm. Be upfront about it. Like, let a let a girl know from you know from the door. Like, and I feel like if you're not honest, you're just a, you're you're you should not be upset with the with the end result. If it doesn't favor you, it's not gonna be in your favor. Just tell you that right now. It ain't. You should not be upset if your, your, your tires get slashed. You shouldn't be upset what? if, like, you know, like, Listen, we, like, shit hap like stuff we, happens. You shouldn't be upset. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's put some lemon on that. Let's see how that tastes. Oh, yeah, there was a lemon. I don't need no lemon, girl. Give me everything so, right. <laughs> Why do you have that half a corn like that? <laughs> She's still eating it. Look at all dry and everything. Okay, it tastes good with the lemon. Sweet little lemon on it. No, no lemon. The good man. The good man. Anyways, so let me know what you think down below about if a guy has to tell you he's available or not. We already know that he definitely has to do that. Here's my other issue. For you willing to settle. How much settling? Are you willing to take? Because at this point, everybody's settling in some kind of way these days. Oh, that like, fact. <laughs> you know, the relationships these days are just not the same as back in the days. You know, people are okay with having their husband and with a sack. And you know what? Just to chime in a little bit on that. It was the same back in the day. She did not have so, social media. Like, there was more respect back in the day. Yeah. But it's not even just that. It's not just a matter of settling, but what are you settling Make for? Them. Right. And then when does it become settling and not compromise? Right. Where does compromise turn into settling? And when and what makes no, you settle case. in the first place? What makes you say that there's no other man out there? I'm play the biscuits, so I just quickly. Thank you. You know what I'm Why am I phone right here? <laughs> My phone is looking for a disaster to happen right now. Yeah, this is the original. We're looking for a disaster. It's happening on TV. Mm, this is where it's live. Oh my god. She did say it. And I don't even like cucumbers, so you know. You know, you know. Chloe, can I have a piece of lemon? Lemon? Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. You come the nice, right? Clean, it cleanses your palate. You got it. Let me tell you, what if I talk to me right now? Let me try this biscuit. All the biscuits, yes. All right. <laughs> like that word. <laughs> I don't like that word. All right. <laughs> that word, all right, don't sound too right. It's still recording? You don't have to spell anything, it is. right? It is. What you want to talk about, Chloe? Because we all own our own business. How do you feel about people not appreciating your work or trying to? Lowball, lowball yeah. you mm -hmm. to get what they want or just not respecting what your business is about. Well, I think that. Go ahead, go, go, go ahead. Go. I sell cakes, mainly cupcakes. And a lot of the times, all my stuff is from scratch, so my prices are, they're not as high as some of the other people that I've seen, but my prices are a bit up there. But people always want to say, oh, can you do this? Can you do that? I'm, like, I'm not a bakery. I can't make it. I sell the cupcakes, but it doesn't. I'm not making 13 cupcakes. <laughs> like, respect my business. Respect what I'm telling you how my business is going to go. What do you guys think? 
I agree. My issue is people not people not even like supporting what you're doing. That's my issue. You know, people wanna be like, like I do makeup. And when I first started to say I was gonna do makeup, people said, Oh, you sure you wanna do that? They wouldn't even let you freaking touch their face, you know. They wouldn't even let say, let me be your model, let me support you, let me, you know, whatever, whatever. Then we start if I look a bit better. I was like, oh yeah, you can do my makeup. <laughs> really? Really? Not That's my problem. Not to mention, just the time you know what you say. Sis, just because you can do makeup for yourself and it looks good on you does not make you a makeup artist. Because right. there's a lot of people out there that you do good makeup on yourself. Right, it's a lot of you do And you do makeup. someone else's face and it looks crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leave it to the professional. <laughs> and don't tell me how you do your own makeup. <laughs> oh my God. That is the worst thing you can tell me. Mm -hmm. First of all, you came here. You came here to do it. somebody else do your makeup, right? right. Just because you do your makeup at home, don't mean that shit is right. So don't come over here and talk about, oh, uh, I do my eye. Mm, what? This is a, this is well, a you need dark. to go home and do it yourself. <laughs> and then, I also hate, like, I cook. I cater. When people say, so if you do a large pan, about how many people can that feed? I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you serve. I don't know how you're serving, and I don't know if you're feeding ten skinny people, <laughs> ten humongous people, mm -hmm. ten people that eat three three servings on one plate. I you could be feeding someone that you know eat. Uh, that it depends on how you distribute the food. That what? determines how much food, how much people what? you I'm can feed. The most <laughs> what kind of stupid question is that? Oh my god! <laughs> both closer. Could you imagine? And where the profit at? Could you imagine? Where the profit at? Oh, they don't think about that part. But this time, like, I have to make a profit. Like as a makeup artist, I spend a lot of money on my on my materials. As a baker, shit. And y'all over here wanting some uh what? Huh? What? First of all, the foundation alone costs six forty something dollars. Like just the foundation. Like, mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me add to that. This society is full of entitlement. I think that. You got to the point where you're so spoiled, you're entitled to think you can just get any and anything you want. No, you cannot. Okay, stop acting like you're entitled. Okay? Customers are not always right. That statement is bullshit. Sorry. Sorry. They're not always <laughs> right. Hustle does not mean that if you're a business owner that you're a neglectful business owner. You really got to put um, effort into the products that you're putting out there. Whether it be makeup, whether it be hair, whether it be cupcakes. food, cupcakes, no matter what you do. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. We do have some businesses out there that have some a little sketchy now. Who made y'all the way y'all are. Mm -hmm. People already are already coming to you, judging you, thinking, okay, this is a ghetto yeah. Yeah. business. You have to demand that respect. You have to make sure that people understand this is a business. Like with me, I'm not taking any appointments if you don't book me on my site. I'm not doing it. You have to understand this is a business for me. So you have to respect that. If you don't respect that, you want to come DM me what? Huh? I will message and you back with my website. Okay? Across the board. I won't even answer questions. Let me say this on behalf of every single business owner out there. I'm a business Okay? <laughs> Let me just say this to every that single business good. owner out there. No deposit means no, no work. Appointment. We're not, nothing, we're not nothing. moving forward with anything unless the deposit is made. Time is precious. These days, everybody asks for a deposit. There's no mm -hmm. way you're going to go nowhere else mm -hmm. for a small business and you don't know want a deposit. Mm -hmm. like ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good. I damn it forgot does. about the rest of the food. It does. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't do it. <laughs> well, we spoke the other day about uh -huh. this order. We sure did. You didn't make a deposit. You didn't make a deposit. You didn't reconfirm. We sure the hell did. I need the business here, but you still have At to the end of the day, let me know what you want. You have to mm -hmm. make people respect your time. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in business at all, you have to make people respect your time. Mm -hmm. If people don't respect your time, then you're gonna end up in situations. You know what I'm saying? I had an experience where somebody wanted to put me for a bridal party. The girl that made me do a PayPal, 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 PayPal. PayPal. <laughs> Invoice, okay? Do you know how detailed that is? Do you mm -hmm. know how much time it took me mm -hmm. to do that? Yes, sir. Okay, I sent it to her. Mm -hmm. Okay, no response from the girl. Nothing 
So guess what? She now has an appointment, right? So she wanna come message me the day before the what? <laughs> oh um, you no, I'm sorry, you, I'm sorry, you didn't pay um the deposit. You didn't even acknowledge the invoice that you made me take my time to put together for you. <laughs> And I'm already, I'm sorry, I've already have uh, engagements already planned. I'm so sorry. You're out of luck. Absolutely. Every business is not good business. Absolutely, I totally agree. Every business is not good business. Listen, when it comes to bacon, I, I cook too. I'm hungry, huh? I'm struggling with it. Not cook too, oh, oh, but I, I, I'm, I'm not a cook and a sell kind of person. I bake and I sell. I cook at home. When we book, that's and I, we bake, we cook at home. But well, that's all has her business. But I forgot my phone. Never mind. Time. Time. We're talking about time. Time consumption. On top of that, <laughs> now you made me forget my phone. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Mm. On top of that. Oh god, I forgot. I just want this. I just want this. The people who want to watch this video to know that I nearly died just now sitting in a chair. <laughs> And my lovely, sure <laughs> my lovely friend over here watched me fall and told me that I almost knocked her off the table. Talking about, about her. No. Talking about you. Talking about you. Guys, listen. The food and everything was stable on the table, and that's all I care. I mean, I, that's not all I care about. This was. It this was. was. But it seemed like it was, was okay because your dad cell was here. She was dying too. She I was, was laughing, but I was concerned. You didn't even turn around. I did. When you fell, I, I saw you fall. <laughs> Right. How was I gonna help you from over there? You she was me. next to you, my G. No, no, no. Listen. It wasn't you helping me. It was the fact that you didn't you even know what it is. I didn't, I didn't I rush in because let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I didn't rush in. Because she brought the chair. She <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you, that's how. No, 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 no. Had she gotten this chair from my house, I would have rushed in because of insurance purposes. <laughs> Rushing in because of insurance purposes, Listen, but because her, chair, her chair. this was the chair she brought, me <laughs> and she knows that my house when you sit on chairs you gotta oh share with God. caution. Who never break the chair? You. Listen, I'm I said with caution. I'm just a wobbly no ass. What made you guys start doing your own business? I'll start. What made you get that food on your mouth? <laughs> Really I good. can't help myself! I feel like it's something, there's one of those that you pickle it. Yo, this one is real good, but it's really, really good. I love it. So, anyways, I decided, okay, first of all, I went to hair school, cosmetology school, and I went for hair because I was all into hair and everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I still like hair, but not more than makeup, right? So, you know, when you're gonna changing them, changing her yes, hair. I like, I like wigs now. I'm, all, I'm into the wigs. Can I have some of that guy, please? Let's get her rejuiced up. Yeah, she's so thirsty. thirsty. I told you that I was after I fell. She was hot. She was hot and thirsty. Hot, hot, bothered and thirsty. <laughs> she was exhausted. Everything. Everything. I didn't that even take a sip of my lunch. She probably watered down now. Ching ching. Clink clink. Clink 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 clink. Watered down now. My juice. And my juice. Oh, yeah, let's drink water. Um, that's the same as see what water yeah. So basically, um, you know, when you go to cosmetology school, you have to take every single class, every course. They teach you about everything. So they had a makeup course. When I took that makeup course, that's when I got interested in makeup. I was, you know, I thought I was doing a little something back then, but <laughs> when I look back, I wasn't doing much. But I started a picture right here of her old makeup. Oh yes, insert the one she posted recently. <laughs> so I really thought I was doing a whole lot, and I was, yeah, I was like, I thought I was an ish. But no, from no. there, I basically never stopped because I felt like I had a passion for it. I wanted to learn more and more about it. So I created a brand. I'm going to say I created a brand because I stuck to it and I created a website. I, I did a whole bunch of stuff. I could be broke as hell. I don't like to use that word, broke. Oh, God. <laughs> Financial challenge. <laughs> but I will never be broke to buy makeup. <laughs> A girl is always gonna order what she needs because Listen. that's my passion. I enjoy it fully in Listen. my heart. I decided to make my craft a business. Well, Catering's in my family business line of business. Um, my mom's been doing it for years. She's retired now. But 
Um, I can cook and I cook really well and everyone enjoyed my food and to be honest for a long time people kept saying oh you should do this as a business you should do this as a business you could sell this stuff blah 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 your food's really good re, re, re. Um, I enjoy cooking and part of the reason that I turned my catering into a business is because I truly believe that once you start doing something you love you never work a day in your life and I don't want to feel like I'm working when I'm operating my business I want to feel like I'm doing what I love all the time so I decided why not get paid for doing what you love Chloe's Cupcake Corner! Hey Chloe. <laughs> <Yeah. Take> <laughs> so I started my business out of not working. A few years ago, I was laid off from my job, an airline job. And um, I used to bake for fun at home. And one of my friends, he told me, he said, why are you doing this only at home? Just to eat and get yourself fat. <laughs> Bacon starts so selling it, and I said, "You sure?" I was like, "I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know if I should do that." Then someone's like, "Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You should put yourself out there, put your business out there." And I've grown a lot since I first started, like a whole lot, because my cookies used to be dry as all hell. <laughs> <laughs> when I've learned new techniques, I've learned different things, and I put so much pride into what I do. I research everything. I try to learn as much as I can. Pinterest is my favorite friend. I follow a lot of other cupcake, a lot of other cakers, and I uh, I get inspiration from them, and I, I love it. I love baking cakes, and also my mother is a caterer, just like Danielle's mother is, or uh, was. Uh, my mother's a caterer. She's also a baker. She makes Chinese pastries and Chinese cake and cake and. Chow man, anything you want, she'll make it. She would, and she does it so well. Yes, yeah, she does. And I, I was her sous chef as a child, so cutting up peppers, onions, cat, every single thing, because her work helped me get to where I am today. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's how I became a, a baker, because of my mama, and I was broke. Well, I haven't known Chloe for a very, very long time, but the cupcakes, I'm telling you right now. Because them cupcakes, girl, I can't eat nobody else's cupcakes. If I, if anybody even make a suggestion to me, talk about, oh, you need to, no, I don't need to try anything. Yes, we've all become very biased not, towards people's taste now. I will not now. cheat on Chloe. It feels okay. like cheating when you eat it. I will not And if you eat, eat it, you will not Unless you eat somebody else's cupcake, then I really want them to give me what side I like. Where's that cupcake from? <laughs> well, as you can see, we're full. We, we are, are clearly <laughs> very bad at mukbang. <laughs> I tapped out a while ago, but she I was tapped out. Sport. Then she tapped out, and then I tapped out because was she's the one who knows. knows. She gonna eat on camera. I can't. She I don't can't. want to seem too greedy. <laughs> <laughs> she was cracked, oh slurped, crunch, <laughs> smacked, between the eggs, burped, everything and all over the And the sauces. Yeah, the sauce like I'm full. And the cucumber. And the curd. No, these cucumbers though. What oh, we should have had the name. Listen, too many eat. cucumbers. But I'm a full mama, full mama. Can't eat no more, yo. We can see. <laughs> yo, I am completely full, guys. And Ooh. she wore that black to stay skinny. I wore black because I wanted to look slim. If you guys can only see how high these tights are going right now. <laughs> yes, girl, you gotta cover everything. She is holding okay. up. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this. If you're here, you watch it to the end. Amongst our. You made it. Or whatever we were talking about. Okay, all the, all the different Excuse topics. Me. I am so sorry, but um, <laughs> you, you better <laughs> all the all the bloopers. You better keep all that shit in here. There's no need to take that out. We're <laughs> eating. What do you expect? Okay, we're eating inside. We're not in a restaurant. Okay, am I a little? There's something wrong with that. <laughs> yes, we're not in a restaurant, so you know. But thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you thought about the topics that we discussed down below in the chat. Comment down below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Oh, I can't be like the regular YouTubers. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Yes. <laughs> down, below. down below. Comment down, down below. Support <laughs> the channel. And if you have a topic that you want us to discuss, leave down it down, down below. below. <laughs> 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 All right, so we'll see you guys in the next one. It's been fun. Ciao! Bye!